Probably. So yeah. It's uh Sorry folks. Now so again they can't see me, but uh you know all these things, me destroying stuff, it still happens in the real world. What do we got? Baked gecko. Sounds tasty. Yeah, okay, I guess I'm past the point where I can, uh, check or examine people. I knew it. This town's teeming with heaven's little helpers. It's making my buddies downstairs awfully nervous. And your point is... Some places in this world are closer to Paradiso or Inferno. The rat hole of a town you and I live in is close to both. But the Vigridians, they got a special air about them. They're closer to Paradiso than anyone should ever be. And that shit just plain creeps me out. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to set up shop here and score me some Halo. These stupid rings are worth a fortune back home. Since it seems you're sporting for a fight, if you come across any of these, bring them to me, and I'll hook you up. <sighs> Another one looking to line his pockets. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Enzo is so fond of you. Real cute. But let's get one thing straight. Your fights are yours alone. I'm only here to watch my handiwork in action. So don't get any bright ideas about coming to me for help. No. You get one thing straight. I'm not the slightest bit interested in the fact that you made these guns. If you get in my way, I will... How do the Americans put it? Oh, yes. Bust a cap in your ass. Yeah, that's how we put it. Oh, baby. <laughs> so yeah, just reiterating that, uh, you know, Halos are your currency. I mean, they're straight up just Sonic rings is what they are. But, um, yeah, Halos are uh, your currency. Um, you can use them to buy special moves. You can use them to buy new weapons. And, uh, among other things. Which we won't get to in this playthrough. Uh, we will definitely not get to that in this playthrough. Oh, those are just in the wall. Oh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I got turned around. Again, like... As I mentioned with the sticks, like, you really gotta commit to it. Uh, not yet. It still looks like there's things I can destroy. Come on. Alright, I guess I got everything. Other than the park bench. Okay. Darn it. It's weird, because it's like, confirmation is Y and A. Which is like, okay, Super NES days, you hit Y to confirm. Now the new days of... Nintendo, where it's like, A is suddenly confirmed. It's weird. It's weird!
business or pleasure. Either way, I'll hook you up. Uh. Okay, yeah, so the new hot item. Uh, yeah, so. You know, weapons. Accessories. Um. We may not mess with these, uh, but they are stat modifiers. Uh, items, of course, health. Uh, green is health, red is... Oh crap, I actually forgot what they were. Never mind. Uh, techniques, of course, are techniques, obviously. Air dodge, this is important. Uh, what I also like about this game is that you get... You can actually try. Uh, so, I can do this. Like, you actually get a chance to, um, test out. The mechanic before you commit to it so yeah bye because that is beyond important uh but yeah so, you know here's tons of other things uh this is the best one i don't care what people say it's radical uh rodent's treasures these are a little tougher to unlock i'll explain those as we get to them um, but those you unlock uh, through finding collectibles in each level. You want to touch me? You want to touch me? Good, I found the taunt button. Oh, uh, that is also God. All right, all right, all right. This way. Okay, if I remember correctly, there's also, like, a crow somewhere in this area. You might be thinking, what's that have to do with anything? Um, if you catch crows before they fly away, you get a veil of blood, tear of blood, something like that. Um, yeah, again, lore. Ah, there it is. Okay, you see that, see that glowing crow right there? Let's see if I can get it. Honestly, don't remember what the button was. Grab! Got it. Tear of blood, that's what it is. Uh, yeah, if you run up to them, then they just fly off. Uh, they fly off and that's it, you're never getting it. Um... I swear there was other stuff in this area. Like, I remember this area just being rife with things... ...in places. Yeah, like, there was something. Wasn't there something in this gazebo? Ah! There we go. Broken Witch Heart. Uh, yeah, you get more of those. Uh, you get four. Every four that you uh, obtain, your life increases. Not a bad deal. Nothing from those. Halo's over here, though. Alright. Let's, let's try them out. We got our new Scarborough Fair guns. Ah, 
torture attack just right away. Uh, that's what that glow was. Uh, that's why I was uh, glowing for so long. That's new. I have never seen that as a, um, yeah. Oh, right, that guy. Um, so, you can also... Um... Ah, oh, first hit. Where are you? You, 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 and you're just here. Got him. Oh, I should have saved it. So I don't think I finished my statement, but yeah, uh, when you're in witch time, you can deflect those as I just did. Not way too early. Torture? Oh, uh, nope. Guess not. That's fine, I got it for this guy. I got a torture attack ready for... Beloved. So this is the first actual level of the game, by the way. I didn't know his... I didn't realize that was actually an attack. Yeah, let's just use that up. Man, that was... that was a boss. Why this time? Those. By collecting those, uh, that unlocks Radon's treasures. Uh, yeah, let's pick up the beast axe. Uh, what do we got? Um, also as a fun fact, um, all of those are, uh, all of the angelic hymns are based off of, um, classical music. Uh, be it church hymns or, um, Baroque. I had one ready. Why not just use it? There you go, that's how you do that. Alright, so what do we got? We got some of that, got some of those, got one of those. At least it's only one hit. Just, I was afraid of uh, just wasting the axe on that door. I didn't want to do that. 